Hi guys, I am baked baking, like I do every day. And Honey's here tonight, but she's hiding behind the scenes. She doesn't want to hang out on this side with me. She wants to be on the other side. She's Hi. my official taste tester tonight. So, <laughs> yeah, I think um, it's probably still over five minutes, but it was probably pretty close, which is really good for me. Um, tonight, what am I making? So I was going to make nachos for dinner. I got home. I had forgotten that I had defrosted steak and it needed to be used. So I'm making steak with stuffed potato. No, not stuffed potatoes. With stuffed mushrooms, baked potatoes, and uh, mushrooms and onions. So um, <laughs> hi, everybody. What I wanted to talk about for a second. Um, sorry, I thought it was going to fall over. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was like the same thing that I talked about today quite a bit um, at the dispensary, which is dosing edibles. Um, for me, I have a super, super like mega high tolerance. So my edibles are dosed pretty high. But if you are working with can of butter or ghee, um, you can cut your butter or your ghee with regular butter. So um, as an example, I'll show you. This is where I've taken my can of butter, you guys may have seen it before, in the little two ounce containers. She's gonna go grab I'm gonna it. show you what I'm talking about. So I have taken um, this guy, and I cut it down into slices. So this is actually, this one is a pretty lightweight, but um, the one that I had before, I took two ounces of a stronger version and an equal amount of standard stick butter, softened them, blended them, let them set again, and bamo. So that's, um, that's really the easiest way to do edibles is that you don't have, when you buy a can of butter or ghee, you don't have to use all of that at one time. Or if you want to, you totally can, absolutely can. Um, but you can layer it in. So tonight, um, I said I'm doing like quite a few things. So I have on the stove right now, um, mushrooms, just pre-cut mushrooms, chopped onion, um, and I tossed that with a little bit of the loaded olive oil that I made. I don't know why I feel the need to show you guys. It's not like you can like go to a store and buy this or something, but that's what I keep my olive oil in, in a little ball like that. Um, so that plus Worcestershire, um, just a couple of dashes and seasoning with broth. So that's going on. And then I made making loaded baby portobellas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. Which is one of my favorites. <laughs> and, um, because this is a baked dinner, uh, the way I incorporated cannabis into this is that I use my olive oil um, again on the mushrooms with the Worcestershire, and then I also have about a teaspoon of the butter in my mix. So um, the mix is what I put into my little mushrooms, and here I have, this is appetizing, right? That looks super <laughs> yummy. But that is um, one half, one to one, um, one to one goat cheese and cream cheese. And then I also added a bit of diced um, garlic and some shredded Parmesan. And then because it's just quicker, I put it in the little baggie and then just like squeeze it out pastry bag style. So done, like, boop. I like mine like really overfilled. And then once all of them are done, I'm gonna top it off with some parm. Honey, will you grab the parm for me? Yeah. Um, I'll top it with parm before I put it in the oven. <laughs> I got a marriage proposal. Thank you so much. I am currently engaged to be meowied, but um, I appreciate it. So as always, I will share the little this recipe. One? Oh no, the uh, container with the top on it. It should be on the bottom shelf with the okay. lid. Yeah. The other one is has the Romano in it too, and it's kind of smelly when you bake it. <laughs> um, so if anyone had any questions while I was talking about my food. I'm sorry I missed them aside from the marriage proposals. Did you guys have a good day today? Marriage proposals. Yeah, that's pretty, that's a new one. I, I know, I'm excited. Often. I get to eat all of this. Right? I was talking <laughs> to a guy today and he was like, your husband must really like um, how much you cook and bake and make things. And I was like, yeah, I think all my friends kind of enjoy it. I have a brunch, um, not this Sunday, but next Sunday with my, all of my best babes. And um, that can make it, all of my best babes were invited, not all of my best babes can make it, but all of my best babes that can make it that will be here will get yummy munchies um, with a brunch spread and a cereal bar and quiche. So 
I'm pretty excited about it. Food, I've said before, is my love language. And I think that's why I really enjoy talking to patients about how you can kind of incorporate cannabis into your life, like beyond just being high or smoking flour. Um, really, especially when you get into using CBD for pain relief and pain management, um, it can be a game changer. And everything I've made for probably like a month now probably has been loaded. Mm -hmm. um, there are no children in this home. There are no one but um, no one here but us chickens. I'm stealing this it's cheese. Just adults, so <laughs> please, no one be concerned. I call the HS that I'm dosing small children because I would not waste my drugs on them. But I am finishing up the last, um, the last of the the yummy parm cheese mix. And I will put the recipes out probably tomorrow. I've got stuff I have to do tonight. And I don't actually, like, I'm not looking up these recipes and then, like, oh, hey, I'm going to go make this. I'm making things that I already make. And then I'm like, oh, hey, let me um, tell you guys how I make this. So I appreciate your patience. And if you see any typos, let me know because I'm my own proofreader, too. Ain't no one paying me for this, y'all. So <laughs> it's a community effort. Um, when I finished with the mushrooms, I wanted to say, like, I was telling Honey, if you guys saw my page yesterday, I asked for people to post what they needed and ask people to share what they had to give away. So like in the case of this time of year, a lot of people are getting new furniture or new electronics and stuff. And there's a lot of people in need and money is, is always tight. But especially this time of year, everyone and, and parents in particular are trying to do for others. And it was super cool getting to match so many people with resources that, um, that otherwise, you know, wouldn't necessarily go to waste because I'm sure these people would have donated them at a, at a great space. But being able to connect people like one to one, like fantastic. Like that's why we have social media. Hi, sweet girl. How are you? Are you coming home for the holidays? I say that like you're coming home to my house. Um, <laughs> I think my house is, house is like home for everyone. Wherever I am is home, though. I'll be like at a convention and be like, hey, I'm going home. Like, where are you going? Like my hotel room. But. If my teddy home. bear is there um, and my toothbrush, that's home for the night. So now my, um, I don't want to mess up my mushrooms. You can see them. So now my little mushrooms are all stuffed. And um, I have a seasoning that I use like on everything. And I haven't shared the recipe on that because it was a gift. It's handmade, but it was a gift to me. Um, but essentially it's like garlic salt, a little celery salt, coarse ground pepper, um, what else? A little bit of, of parsley. I mean, it's really like kind of an, an all of the kitchen sink spice. So I would think the closest thing on the shelves to it would be Montreal steak seasoning if you've ever used that. Like it's it's similar to that, except this is chunkier and my friend makes it for me. Hi guys. Uh, not this year, sweet girl. Well, I look forward to seeing you when you do come home or if I find myself all the way over there, you're in Pennsylvania, is that right? Um. I'm going to put the little parm on here, and I'm just pressing it on so that it doesn't fall off of my cream cheese, and uh, it would go in the oven. I also like mozzarella on this, and if you do mozzarella, like I really only use the uh, the fresh stuff because I'm a big spoiled brat, but if you do the fresh stuff, um, you can do just a little bit of marinara in your cap, um, mix it with your THC, with your oil, or with your butter, and um, then just put a little square of mozzarella in the center, and it's perfect. Hi, Anthony, how are you? <laughs> Girl, I would, when you come over, I feed everyone that comes over, it's crazy. I can't not. I blame it on my, um, my mom was like that, like growing up, my mom's house was always the place where everybody went. And there was always food, so that's probably why everybody went there, because I know that's why I go places now, because <laughs> there's food. <laughs> <laughs> You'll guys will hear Hemi. He's really vocal tonight. He's got a lot to tell us. Yeah, I just kicked him out of your office, so he's kind of mad about it. He's cranky pants. Yeah. So that's the um, that's the final product on the loaded oh, baby ports. Yeah. They're gonna go in at three seventy five. Three seventy five. Um, one of the things okay. about uh, the stuffed mushrooms is you want to prepare them in enough time to let them set. So that the cheese will like set a little bit, set up a little bit, and um, especially if you're adding can of butter into it, so that it's not too squishy. So that's in the in the oven now. Hey Google, set the timer for 20 minutes, please. For 20 minutes. So um, the other part of the cream cheese I had here 
I'm using the same bowl. I'm not going to use the parm, and I'm going to take the cream cheese and the goat cheese pre-mixed, and I have blue cheese. So, there it is. When you bake baked, sometimes you forget what you did with your cannabis. <laughs> is it this? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's honey is, is so on point today. So this is the other half. So this is just over a teaspoon. Okay, um, I'm going to take this. Then I'm adding into my cream cheese. It's already softened. And with the ghee and with can of butter, it's going to have a little bit um, of a higher melting point. So just make sure you don't you don't want to scorch it. You don't want to cook anything out of it. And you just definitely don't want to waste it. But make sure that it's soft. And now that's that cream cheese, goat cheese, and the blue cheese crumbles are pretty heavy. And I really hate to get my hands dirty and gross, gross me out. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna put some in a, in a paper towel, and then just break it up in here a little bit, and then put it into um, into the mixture. I, I want a little bit of texture to it because this is what I'm going to put on the steaks, but I don't want it to be too too chunky. When you use the paper towel, it kind of dope, like rolls up together like dough. And then mix it in. Oh. THC. Um, actually, I was going to do tincture in this. I'm just going to be the cheese bandit over here. So this is my green dragon which is a super potent tincture. And since the blue cheese is already, I don't even know if people can hear me, I don't even think it matters. Um, since the blue cheese is already a super strong flavor, um, it's really gonna help the tincture just kind of go unnoticed. And I have a giant doser right now, which I would not normally use, but most of them are in my dishwasher. <laughs> So that's in, and now I'm just gonna mix it in. Um, this won't actually cook off. You could, if you wanted to cook it off, you could, you can put this topping on your steak and then put it under the broiler, which is always super yummy, and now I kinda wanna do that tonight. Um, and in doing that, you'll, you'll pull out some of the alcohol, but it's just a small enough amount. It doesn't make anything too thin. And now that I've decided I'm putting it in the oven, I'm gonna go do ahead and put the parm in too, because cheese. And I'm gonna add another round of blue cheese. That was a pretty big dose right there. I don't know about all that business. <laughs> and that's it really um, to this. So after my steak is done tonight, I will just throw this together on top of the steak, throw it under the broiler, because I'm cooking these inside anyway. So that's so two, three loaded dishes, right? Yeah. So that's three loaded dishes. I'm gonna oh. put that to the side. And then the last thing I'm doing is twice baked potatoes tonight. Um, what other cheese can I use other than blue cheese? Super cool question. Um, you can use any cheese, really. Um, is it um, gorgonzola? That's what I was looking for. Gorgonzola, gorgonzola has a really great texture. It's kind of pungent. It's not as pungent as blue cheese, but it has a really great texture and it pairs really well with steak. Um, you can use. Um, you can skip. Um, you can skip the the pungent cheeses. You can use feta in this as well. Um, or you can just do the parm and the cream cheese, and then um, there's one other variation that's that's pretty yummy. Uh, baked baking, you forget you forget things that you should remember. I don't know a lot about but cheeses. You know really, I mean. anything you're what you're going for is to have a strong a strong cheese taste, whether it's the gorgonzola or the blue cheese, something that's pungent and strong with the creaminess of the cream cheese. And then the heat um, and the seasoning on the steak, you want all those flavors to come together. So you can really pair anything you like there that's not like a, a traditional cheddar or stringy uh, mozzarella kind of cheese. You want something that's going to be a creamy dissolve into it. Hi, everybody. I, again, I don't know if anybody else asked any questions, but I'm sorry if I missed them. I have steak resting right now with um, seasoning on it. If you, I started it with a rock salt. If you put rock salt on it, bring it to room temperature and then rinse it, like let it set about an hour. Rinse it to pull the salt off of it. Um, it does a lot for tenderizing the meat and even if you have, uh, if you have a super great amazing cut of meat, you don't really need to do that with a filet mignon. But if you're trying to do something yummy with the sirloin, um, it takes it to, to the next level, so. Pro tip, y'all. Those taters. Um, 
Yeah, you don't have to have, if you're not into stronger cheeses, buy, I mean, don't force it. Um, you can do the <clears> parm <throat> and the cream cheese, and that's really mild, and it's a really great flavor. When you put it under the broiler, it caramelizes it. And um, if you're doing that, you can even use like caramelized onions, or um, I like garlic. I love huge heads of garlic. So you can add in mm. other, other flavorful components there that don't have to be cheese. So I have potatoes that are not hot, they're steamy. What's the plans for the holidays? Um, I'm hanging close to here, thankfully. I don't have to do anything, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm volunteering tomorrow night with uh, Tweet for Toys with uh, Goodwill, uh, not Goodwill, with Salvation Army um, with SM Tulsa. And then I normally adopt um, people from the local nursing home. There's a nursing home or a, a retirement community um, just like not too far from here. In the past few years, I've adopted little ladies from that and made them holiday baskets. So that's probably the next, that and then the 22nd, I have my brunch with my Grinches. My Grinches, I think it's like a fifth or sixth annual uh, mafia party for the holidays. So lots of good stuff going on, just no travel involved. So I took, um, I actually did these in the microwave so that they would hurry the fuck up and be done. <laughs> I know it's nice. Like, I just keep <laughs> eating the cheese. The parm is pretty good. <laughs> if I weren't doing um, mushrooms right. tonight, I would have done parm crisps. So Ooh. yum! Here's my my potatoes. I've got a healthy dose. I showed you that I can't say anything. Um, <laughs> oh, cool T-shirt by the way, right? Four seven three. Great little bar in Kendall Whittier. Um, so I have just over two tablespoons of the can of butter here. So that was the last of this batch, which I think is maybe a month old now. I've made so many loaded goodies. You've made so many things um, with that batch. Holy shit. So I'm taking my potatoes and I'm going to scoop them. And then depending on how that goes, um, hopefully I'll have at least a couple of, of workable skins to be able to use the little bow to make them look all cute and fancy. Ooh. But if not, they're delicious anyway. Um, oh, so when you're doing this, if you kind of score the edge of it and then down the center and then dig in, it helps prevent cracking your, your shell so badly. I know you guys are just on the edge of your seats for all these pro cooking tips, right? I really have no idea why I do this. Aside Honestly, from the fact I that, am, like, though. <laughs> I am just, this is what I would do. And the cats would just hear me. And only two of the four of them have thumbs. And they don't really like to cook, so. So, again, like, this is a great example. Here it is. I'm going to take my spoon. I'm going to score it. And then I'm going to come around the edge and start to scoop it out. And just scoop it like a melon baller scoops. And I didn't bother melting um, this last block of, can of butter because I'm putting my potatoes into it and it's going to melt. So two, I'm making you hungry. Yay, that's the goal. Well, I'm, I'm, my goal is to actually teach you guys or teach anyone, share my love of cannabis above anything. Hopefully if you guys walk away with like a way to make something yummy, yay. Food is love. I'm sure it's not, and I could go to lots of therapy for that, but whatever. It's love, y'all. If you're from the South, it's absolutely love. I don't know how love. things <laughs> I don't know how things are done other places, but uh, it. it's food. Food is love. So I'm just going to score the rest of these super fast, and I'm going to take my butter. Oh, honey, will you get the shredded cheddar out? Yeah. Um, I'm going to take all of my potatoes. And if I need more, I like to, I like to be extra, I like to overstuff them. So if my, um, if it looks like it's going to be a little shy, I will use instant potatoes to add to it. And it also takes up some of the additional moisture from like your butter and such. So finish scooping these guys out and then mix up all the goodies together. And also when you're baked baking, uh, keep track of what you're, taking, take, 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 keep track of what you're dosing of what you're making 
so you don't put yourself into like a long term nap, God, not get anything so good, done. Though. A friend of mine said she had some on toast the other day and was generous with it and then didn't do anything all day long. <laughs> so um, we were like, well, maybe next time you, you cut it. And she was like, no, I like it. <laughs> no complaints. So I'm finished gutting these guys. It's not as fulfilling as gutting a pumpkin, but it is still pretty fun. So they're still pretty, um, pretty hefty on the edges, all of them. This guy got a little faint, but the rest of them are pretty useful still. So yay on that. Here's my mushy potatoes with my mushy um, mm -mm. butter on the bottom. I didn't get my mixer out. I should have. Butter. Sour butter. Cream. Little cream. Right. Style. Cream. Just enough to um, smooth it out. And then sour cream and cheddar cheese. And I'm also going to use parm because why not? Hi, Tom. How are you? Hi. Long time no see. You know what? This is not heavy whipping cream. It says heavy whipping cream, but it is not. Is she not heavy? That, that is half and half, if that's anything. I like that sound, though. <laughs> <laughs> Big chunk of sour cream. Shush. Did you hear that, guys? A little lighter. <laughs> the sound of happiness. I did not get my mixer out to do this, and I probably should and probably will. No, it's okay. There's some fresh greenery for you if you want some. Baked baking. <laughs> myself but normally I would be by myself in here so yay this is way fun because an audience maybe yeah. not an audience but like <laughs> I imagine people kind of like we people like when you play we and there's all of your yeah. little friends around you it's like your avatars your avatars are hanging out with us tonight so I mushed all that together that's my sour cream butter, potatoes, and then I'm going to add my cheese, and then I'm going to add, a, well actually I'm going to add the instant potatoes first. Cheese. Mm. So that's probably about a third of a cup, just a little over a quarter of a cup there. And that's going to help bind everything together and give it a little more um, unique. Unique. That's not what it's right. It's a unique. <laughs> Uniform. Uniform. Oh, okay, so the reason that we do this and live stream it now is because last week, um, last week, the week before, mm -hmm. I'm making baked baking and I'm trying to talk about the oven. And I called it oh, yeah. a garage for your pants. <laughs> Which is not even correct, even no way at all. Like, oh yeah, I mean, thankfully she's my best friend, so she knows what I'm talking about. But like, to fuck. But that's what happens. Garage for <laughs> your pants. That's what happens there. Amanda, I love my hair. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's, I'm growing it out. Um, I'm getting married in June, and I just want to look soft. In my pictures I'm gonna look at these pictures forever and I've also had this hair for like five years or so ever since I broke my legs so growing it out it's an adventure so all of my stuff is mixed together and I'm gonna take um, oh I need pies no I don't I'm gonna wait decisions are hard I was saying my magic seasoning earlier. This is my magic seasoning that I use on everything. Um, my friend gave this to me almost a year ago, getting close to a year, and uh, it was full at the time, and now this is all I have left. Thankfully, I should be getting a new batch soon, as the holidays are just around the corner. Hi. So, mix in a little bit more um, yummies and
into my potatoes plus the two tablespoons that we had before. And I'm gonna take these before I fill them up. I'm gonna take them, I'm flipping them over. So skin down. Skin up. <laughs> Baked baking. Baked baking. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna slather them. And then I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna salt them down so Ooh. that they're kind of like a jacket potato. Hmm. So level four, five of, of elevated dinner tonight. Literally everything, all the way down to the brownie, uh, little whoopie pies we're having for dessert are Oh my gosh, loaded. what? So, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is like <laughs> the, I, the most, I don't normally do a dessert. I do yeah. like a sweet a week or something. I don't normally do a dessert um, for dinner, but that already happened. I got those happening yesterday. Oh my um, goodness. I don't want that. Pepper. Salt. And then my steak. I said it's seasoned. It's hanging out. We're going to flip these and stuff them. You guys are awfully quiet. <laughs> um, because this is, I, I want this to be nice and very dry. I don't want, I was going to say stuff. Um, if you were going to pipe it out, you could do them. Um, you would want to spin this out like mashed potato style. But I want these to be really chunky and really rustic because yeah. I like all of that texture to it. So I'm stuffing my yum yum potatoes. I love chunky potatoes. I just love potatoes. Like, mm -hmm. can we have a high five for potatoes mm -hmm. around the world? They're just the best. Love them. Love them. So, do you guys have any questions about any of this? Like, um, if you are going into edibles for the first time, tread lightly, give it a go, wait 30, 45 minutes, see if any if you're feeling any effects before you start taking um, taking more. It's really great when you first start taking edibles to use something that's pre-measured so you know exactly kind of where your threshold is versus a larger batch of something where you're trying to estimate how much of it you, you've had. So that's what's going on here, guys. <laughs> Wolfie's jealous. Yeah, Honey has a pretty good position as the official taste tester, <laughs> I think, over here. So since I do have a little bit more... Um, of the leftover potato, um, or the potato leftover, I'm gonna really goo up this last guy. Oh my. Hen's gonna be a big guy. And then when these come out of the oven, they can be doused with the um, can of butter as well. So literally every single thing can be I know. loaded tonight. I'm excited too, Hemi. And I think that's it. I think the last thing that I do or have to show you guys tonight is um, <laughs> dessert, and I'm not doing that right now, so. Here's my final potatoes. They'll also get like a little final coating of parm before they go in the oven. And when they come out, they get sour cream and chives and deliciousness. <sighs> so that's how you incorporate can of butter into your dinner um, with tincture and with, with can of butter. <laughs> and um, if you have questions, there's lots of great resources on Leafly to help you manage your dosing and help you better understand how edibles will work for you. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I will put my recipes at the bottom tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye.